All right, students, Mr. Martyr, and this is uh, lesson number two of the flip classroom, talking about trouble in the Balkans. You guys, uh, make sure you are looking at your Great War class notes. We're continuing the discussion. We're now going to answer questions number six, trouble in the Balkans. We're going to examine what, who the Black Hand were, and we're going to examine the event that triggered World War I in this video. All right, so when we left off, we talked about the alliance system. So here's our map of Europe leading up to World War I. We said that Germany, seen here, tries to neutralize France, seen here. So they make an alliance with Austria-Hungary and Italy. Fine. The idea was that these three countries could economically block France and kind of neutralize them and gang up on France. Fair enough. So France, we'll go back to our map. France here makes an alliance with Russia. And the idea is that Russia and France are now on either side of Germany. So therefore, if Germany ever strikes or attacks France, Germany will then have to fight a two-front war. Additionally, France makes an alliance with the United Kingdom. So now you have the Triple Entente, the United Kingdom, France, and Russia, and the Triple Alliance, France, Austria, Hungary, and Italy. Germany responds, we said, and they make an alliance with the Ottoman Empire. But what's important to understand is France, England, and Russia can attack Germany. Germany is landlocked. And guys, this is what happens in World War I. And this is also what happens in World War II. So what if there is a war, what must Germany do to win the war quickly? Well, they're going to have to knock one of these three out. If they can knock one country out very quickly, that means they can focus on the other two countries. And we're going to see that later on when we actually talk about the war itself. So moving forward, we're going to talk about this area here on the Balkan Peninsula. And here's just another map showing the alliance system. We've got Great Britain, France, Russia versus Germany, Austria, Hungary, and Italy. And we're going to talk about this, the Balkan Peninsula. So this is going to be the answer to number six. All right. The Balkan Peninsula is, was a conflict that was just waiting to happen. The Balkan Peninsula is right across from Italy. Uh, and it's made up of several hundred different ethnic groups. And that's important to know. Within these ethnic groups, there are Germans, there are Hungarians, there are Czechs, there are Slovaks, there are Poles, and there are Ukraines. And these ethnic groups are all because of nationalism. They all want their own country. They all want their own land. So this is what happens. This is number six. And here we've got a, a, a cartoon showing trouble in the Balkans and all the countries of Europe trying to keep a lid on that uh, powder cake because they know it's going to explode. So Austria-Hungary wants to take over land owned by the Serbs. The Serbs are a nationalistic group. They're a Slavic group. So what they do, the Serbs create an alliance with Russia. Now you have to ask yourself from the previous class, who else are the Serbs allied with now? Because remember from our previous class, Serbs were backed by Russia, but Russia created an alliance with France. And remember how France created an alliance with Great Britain. Now, through six degrees of separation, Great Britain is allied with Russia and therefore the Serbs. So they could get tangled into this conflict. The Austrian-Hungarians, they were allied with Germany. And the little uh-oh, guys, that's what's going to happen. And you can imagine, one small event is going to trigger a huge, huge calamity in this area. So here's the plot. And now we're moving on to number seven and number eight. It's June 28th, 1914, the, the, the day that remarkably changes the 20th century forever. Archduke Franz Ferdinand... It's an Austrian-Hungarian prince. He is visiting his wife. He, excuse me, he and his wife are visiting uh, soldiers in Sarajevo. Sarajevo is in the heart of Bosnia. Okay, the Serbs are unhappy about living under Austrian-Hungarian rule. 
Now, it's important to understand that June 28, 1914 is a very important date in the history of the Serbian Republic. It's almost like uh, our independence day, our 4th of July. And it, this is a huge insult that the Archduke is coming on this day. So a terrorist group called the Black Hand, they plan to assassinate Franz Ferdinand on his trip into Sarajevo. The event that triggers World War One is the assassination, June 28, 1914. Archduke Franz Ferdinand, seen here, is riding in an open car with his wife, Sophie. A man by the name of Dravro Pinsip is a member of the Black Hand. He fires two shots and kills the Archduke and his wife. Now, it is important to know that in this conflict, or in this event, excuse me, in this event, Archduke Franz Ferdinand had been warned of an assassination attempt, and actually his motorcade had made a wrong turn. And we talked a little bit about this in class, but the wrong turn gave Princip just the right opportunity and just the right means to assassinate the Archduke. And here's another graphic showing the assassination. And here is a photograph of the Archduke's shirt. You can see he was shot in the chest almost at point-blank range. And that is a colorized version of the, of the shirt still on display in a museum. And here is the pistol that killed the Archduke and his wife. And there is the assassin, Dravro Princip. Uh, taken in custody immediately following the assassination. So the guns of August, and now we're moving on to questions 9, 10, and 11 in your packet. Here you go, and this is, again, if you want to elaborate and expand on question number 8 in your packet. Austria-Hungary is supported by Germany. They send an ultimatum to Serbs. Serbia... Serbia is supported by Russia. And this means, guys, that the Germans are responsible. So let me just say that one more time. Austria is supporting by German. They send an ultimatum to the Serbs. They say, you need to find everyone who's involved in this, and you have to allow Austria to participate. The two sides can't reach an agreement. So now you have Serbia and Russia on one side and Austria and Germany by on another side. They cannot reach an agreement, and within a month, World War I begins. On July 28th, Austria declares war on Serbia, and the Great War begins.